Yeah. And um, you went to confession here? There wasn't a confession yes. here or in the church. We went um, around all the doors there for confession, but we are waiting. We are, we, are, we are going to yeah. go back in the no. evening yeah. and then attend the Mass and the Adoration and the Rosary mm. in the evening too here. And what would you tell yeah. people like about confession? A lot of people are scared to tell the priest the stuff. You know? oh. What would you tell them? <laughs> Even now I'm scared <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> you too? Uh, yeah. It isn't easy. It yeah. isn't easy, but... Um, I'm a traditional Catholic, so I believe um, there's a lot of people who are, who, you know, in this modern world feel um, even things like I see even in my church, sometimes people feel, uh, why are they praying in front of statues? It's so old fashioned, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. if I'm praying in front of a saint or mm -hmm. something, I actually heard someone say this, mm -hmm. but uh, we, we, that's what we do. We are Catholics, we are traditional, and I'm not praying in front of the, uh, the statue. statue. I'm, I'm using the statue as a sign for me to be devoted towards uh, the saints our and lady, praying person, praying yeah. to our saints, praying to Our Lady, and to Ask pass, pass, pass our messages and the prayers to God yeah. as well. Uh, and the same thing with confession. Mm -hmm. I strongly believe that every time what is the point of saying forgive us our sins as we forgive and you know what is the point of praying to god if you're not using a sacrament like confession as a catholic should yeah and um yeah. and uh, following the tradition of the catholic church um the, the, peop the people the, the, the yeah. people people need to change uh, to adapt to the Catholic faith, not the church needs to adapt to the modern world. So I'm happy with every single tradition and concept the Catholic Church has, mm -hmm. and I believe the more people follow the tra traditions and the culture of the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. the more peace and happiness and strength and joy uh, they will experience and their faith will multiply. I yeah. see it on your face. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and about the confession, if y y the priest um, make blesses you and makes you poor, it he won't um, think. Pure. Yeah, pure. <laughs> he won't think yeah. that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, your sins are really bad. Um, what type of person is that? She, he, he or she. He um, he wants to actually help you. And if you go to confession, it will help you a lot. You'll feel really like happy and like a big a weight. Yeah, a big lifted. burden lifted. has been lifted off of you, and you feel really nice and light. Wow, beautiful. That's how I feel too. <laughs> yeah, isn't that like that? Yeah. And what would you tell at the final of this interview? You know, there are also a lot of people out there, they don't believe in God anymore. Mm -hmm. What would you say? Who is God the Father for you? It's very difficult to convince people. Um, I have been, I have met, talked, uh, and tried to engage with people who don't believe in God. And in fact, there was one person I prayed for, um, like, uh, I said the entire rosary, mm -hmm. uh, I said like seven or eight times the rosary, but one rosary I prayed just for this person. Mm -hmm. And he's a well-known public figure in India, mm -hmm. um, and he is an extreme atheist, mm -hmm. uh, and he ridicules and mocks um, religion, mm -hmm. not just Christianity, Islam, mm -hmm. Hinduism. Mm -hmm. um, so. I sometimes feel that there's uh, God's plan is about man's actions or man's uh, whatever man tries to do in this world mm -hmm. is nothing. It's not even zero point zero 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 one percent. God's plan is a lot about that. So what can we do? We can only pray for these people, and when we try to tell them if they're hostile, if they ridicule. Uh, there's no need to feel ashamed. There's no need to feel uh, hurt or offended. Just laugh it off and um, feel satisfied that I tried to convince them. Mm -hmm. I've done as much as I can. Mm -hmm. The rest is left to you. If you want to remain in eternal darkness, that's mm -hmm. up to you, mm -hmm. not me. Mm -hmm. If if you if you had despair, yeah, no darkness, but a lot of these yeah. people are quite happy and content. They seem yeah, they seem happy and content, but they have a strong belief 
that um, this world is the end and that is where the difference is they believe well I was born and then I die and in between I need to enjoy my life as much as I can and that's it when I die everything's over mm -hmm. and that is the difference that makes me happy because I believe when I die this world is not over I believe in eternal life and I'm 60 70 80 years I don't know 50 years is nothing for me eternal life is why I'm here and this this uh, in today's gospel it said use God as your armor in every single day and this is the battlefield so I'm in a battlefield and I know God is on my side why should I worry about the other uh, and who is God? Who is God the Father for you? Describe him. Who is God the Father for you? Do who do you say? think? Who God the Father is for you? Um, I think that if you pray for something and it might not happen, mm -hmm. it might even take like a year to happen, but it might not even happen. Mm -hmm. When God knows what he's doing and he'll, he'll do it, he'll, he'll make it so it's good for him and good for us as well is it it's not bad um and who's god for probably good always no god <laughs> yeah. god I is a creator isn't it yeah god, god, he, god created every single thing i mean it is it is beyond our capacity to actually understand who, what god is mm -hmm. but we've been given the message and we've been given the instructions and we know what God is. God made us. God made everything around us. Yeah, you know, the yeah, blue the skies, blue sky, yeah. the uh -huh. sunshine, every single thing. The daughter, every, beautiful yeah. daughter. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So without him, uh, without his desire, we wouldn't exist. So that was one more thing. I said thanks to God for mm -hmm. all the beauty and the peace he's given me uh, at the top of the hill in Medjugorje uh, and the opportunity to take a take days off and come here on a holiday and experience this uh, with my family um, so God is everything God is everything to me without God there's nothing uh, Beautiful. Thank and at you. the end like in one sentence what would you say what is so special about Medjugorje why should maybe people come here one time what would you uh, say? Bye, nice I, advice, yeah. I would say if they're on the edge of like of giving up on faith and it it just like made my, my, my day coming here and like seeing every single shop has like rosaries in front of it and and there's crosses everywhere. Like um we went to a restaurant mm -hmm. yesterday mm -hmm. and there there was a cross there and it's just that this you might think that in the UK there's not really belief and people don't, but in some places there are there's like a very strong connection and and they. So they why why should people come to Medjugorje? Because um, to recharge their faith, find their faith. Like yes. when they are at the end of their faith, is that not? Yeah. yeah. You were you were close to saying that when yeah. they are at the edge of their yeah. faith. Yeah, when they're and at it the helps them rejuvenate. Yeah, and feel, feel yeah special. like they're not yeah. alone and yeah beautiful and for you um <sighs> thank you people <laughs> people need people we all need moments like this in our lives because we are living a modern life mm -hmm. it's a rat race mm -hmm. one thing after another one thing after another we don't stop and think every single day the target keeps moving mm -hmm. and we are chasing the target we don't get time we just we just make bare amount of time for prayer and for mass and that's it the moment we come out of mass we have forgotten God mm -hmm. and uh, we are there doing other things have I paid my bills uh, have I got the groceries have I done this have I done that you know oh have I caught up with the latest Netflix episodes you know mm -hmm. <laughs> everything yeah. uh, but um, our ancestors didn't live like this you know they had a lot more time for God you know even in the farms in the field if they, yeah, heard, if they heard the bells they would drop everything and pray for 10 minutes uh, five six times a day so um, uh, we need to make time to discover God's beauty and presence in our lives mm -hmm. and if we don't make time we are gonna lose that opportunity to discover who we are where we came from and what this end goal is and it's not all about the materialistic world uh, and enjoying this world from birth to death. There's something more waiting for us. And Mother Mary came as a vision to innocent youngsters 
uh, she didn't come to I don't know the Pope or or, or some you know some Prime Minister or someone just mm -hmm. and in a town the name no one even knew no one even knew even probably uh, you know in Bosnia it wasn't a big name no one knew it but now look how famous it is because uh, of just one appearance of Mother Mary uh, not one appearance this whole event of Mother Mary here uh, so there is something special it's not just uh, uh, something you believe in mm -hmm. uh, for me this is a journey so Medjugorje is just one journey we, we will be doing a lot of journeys in our lives we've done previously and we'll carry on mm -hmm. thank yeah. you so much for this beautiful thank interview you. Thank you. Thank you.